Okay, as we lay a little round top, what a great place for northern soldiers up there in the rocks. That's why the big memorials do resemble a castle or fortress. I'm trying to tell you, it's just like a fort in the rocks up there. They hold that hill at the end of the battle. Now, as we go right down uh, Cemetery Ridge, as we head for a uh, little, little round top, we leave there and head for Cemetery Hill, we're going to buy the 6th Corps commanded by Sedwick. He's from the state of Connecticut. He's the general of the horse down here to your right. You know, he marched northern guys 34 miles and 17 hours on July 2nd. That's two miles an hour with 10 minutes rest. It's 84 degrees, there's wool uniforms on. A lot of them are going to die of heat stroke and heat exhaustion on the way in here. You follow up along the road, there's nobody going to help you. This is the low work ground in front of you that Sickles didn't like. I guess about 12 years ago, the park actually built this road up because it would flood out when we had a heavy rain. There's a drain under here now, but you can still, you can still see it's kind of marshy on the right. See, there was a small thicket of trees there. General Sickles of Northern Army, remember we cut off his leg earlier? He said, if I'm back here with my cannons, I'm going to get one shot at those southern guys when they come out of that woods. That's why he wanted way out there on that road in the Peach Orchard, where he had those big open fields for his cannons. And we're coming up on a nice little farm down here. It's a George Riker's farm. George took his family and left when he found out the Southern Army crossed the Mason-Dixon line. They went the other side of the Susquehannock River. They're going to come back home. They find their house and barn, Surgical Hospital. Now, the surgical room is the stone house. That's where you hear all the bad stories about cutting off arms and legs and pitching them out the windows. That's the place right here. The Civil War medicine isn't too good. Sometimes they drill holes in the wooden floor and let the blood run out of these places. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see an open field here on your right. I showed you this earlier. This is where the second corps and third corps came together, where Sickles' men should have been. And on the second day in the morning when Sickles is back here, look what he sees along the road out there. See how high the ground is where you see the other red barns and the white fences? That's what motivates him to move out there, that higher ground. He didn't want southern guys putting cannons there and shooting at his men right here. That's why he pushed way out there. Coming up on the right is Father Corby. He prayed for the Irish Brigade before they went down to Wheatfield to fight. There's Father Corby. Down to war he went to Notre Dame where he came president of the College of Notre Dame. So here's Father Corby. Now the big white dome in front of you is the Pennsylvania State Memorial. On top is Nike, the goddess of victory. Isle of Branch of Peace in one hand and Sword of Victory in the other. Around the base of that, on those tablets, are names of 34,530 Pennsylvania boys. So one-third of the army is from the state of PA. New York also has 34,000 soldiers here. So the two big northern states, he's gave a third of the army. Now if that Pennsylvania soldier was killed or mortally wounded here, which means he's going to die, he would have a little star by his name on one of those tablets. Now, on the left front, we're going to stop in the front of this, is President Lincoln with his arm outstretched. He's the only non-Pennsylvania guy up there. His left is Curtin, Governor of PA at the time of the war. Then it's Hancock and Bernie, Greg and Pleasant, and Mead Reynolds. And on the top, you have the four branches of the armies in those big reliefs. Over, we have the Signal Corps, the infantry, the artillery, and the camp units. So that's represented on these big reliefs at the top. Now, you can actually go on the top of this one. The staircase is behind President Lincoln. Now, I want you to take your time going up, go around up there and get your pictures, and come back to the ground, because your other bus may want to stop here as well. Okay, so go up, get your pictures, and come back to the ground. Please do not run on the steps, okay? Don't run on those steps, because you fall, you're going to get hurt. Okay. 